Hey YouTube, Guy Webs here with a new series I would like to introduce to you, and that is called With Great Power Comes Great Poses, a video series. I'm going to be taking a look at some top five favorite poses of my favorite figures. And to start things off, I'm going to be doing SH Figure Arts Great Saiyaman. Now the first kind of pose I like to put this figure in is this uh, standing facing backwards looking all mysterious and, and badass. Looks really cool. I like to pose him like this in the front and have him looking to the side and kind of backwards as well. And additionally to make this look even more badass I like to move his cape to either side a little bit to give it kind of a blowing effect. Here's how it looks like blowing the other way. And if it's blowing this way, I also like to have him posing this way. The next pose I like to put this figure in, and this is how I have him displayed right here, is just the basic superhero stance with his fist to his hips, kind of like Superman. And it does look good with him looking straight. Sometimes I like to pose him angled and looking this way or this way as well or to give it even more of a badass look I have like to have him looking up and have his cape to the back and kind of blowing to the side a little bit too which I think is a really good look sometimes it might flare out the, the front cape piece by his chest a little bit but I just gotta finagle it and it works just fine the next kind of pose I like to put him in is one of his uh, many superhero stances with his right arm pose diagonally and his left arm cocked back kind of similar to the pose that Kamen Rider 1 does from the Showa era days and this looks really cool I also like to have his cape billowing into the back and kind of out to the side a little bit alternatively I also like to have him with his legs straight and with the left arm down to his side and that does look really cool as well. Next pose I like to put him in which is a little bit tricky to get him into at times is his uh, other iconic pose where he does the inward hand gesture around his head right here and he's squatting. It's a pretty cool pose but sometimes because of his limited angle articulation it might be a little bit tricky to get him into and for this I like to equip him with the yelling face right here so he's all expressive I put his arms up I put his uh, angled chopping hands on and then I have to squat him all the way down and get his ankles just right it's a little bit tricky to get him to stand in this pose but it can be done it just takes some time and last but not least the pose I like to put him in is him with the Super Saiyan head with the cape still on but taking the helmet off so I like to have him with the open hand on the left side and with the helmet piece without the face piece on and on a flight stand and pose him as if he's throwing it out. Alternatively I also like to put him in this pose without the cape on and I think it looks badass too this way. Alright guys, well that's it for the first episode of With Great Power Comes Great Poses. Let me know what you guys think. This is the first episode in this series. Let me know what I can improve on for future episodes and I'll keep this series going. So with that said guys, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Like, and share, and comment, and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Guy Web signing out. Bye!